Hi again, Mark here from TalkingBass.net. This week I'm going to finish up this little four uh, part series uh, introducing you to bass harmonics and I'll be covering probably the easiest way of creating harmonics by tapping them out with the fretting hand. So by now you should have a fairly good grasp of what harmonics are, where they are and how to use them. We've covered natural harmonics from an open string fundamental and uh, then false harmonics using the fretting hand and also uh, pinched harmonics using the picking hand. But we can also play tapped harmonics. Now these are very uh, popular with uh, guitarists like Eddie Van Halen and bass players like Billy Sheehan uh, and they sound like this. So notice how they've got a much more percussive sound unlike the purer tones you get from the natural harmonics or even from you know from pinched harmonics they're a lot more percussive. So to get a tapped harmonic we just bounce the finger off the string a bit like slapping but with the finger and when we hit the string over a harmonic node we get the harmonic ringing out nice and loud. So to practice this technique let's try playing our good old first harmonic at the octave. So uh, let's uh, have a look at this C here at the fifth fret of the G string. Uh, we'll be playing that with the left hand and we just want to tap the octave C up here at the 17th fret. Okay so We've got the C there held down with the first finger, look for the C up here, so 17th fret, and then just take one of the fingers, first finger or second finger, and just tap it. So we're not pushing down like that, we're just letting it bounce off, just as you do with slapping. So we hit and bounce off. So it's an exaggerated bring the finger down and just bring it straight back up off the neck. You don't have to do it that much, you can just move the finger slightly, but, but that's the action there. So there you're getting the, the uh, harmonic, the first harmonic, uh, an octave higher than the fretted note there. So this gives a completely different uh, tone colour um, that we can add to our bass toolbox. So as I said before, it's a very percussive sounding um, harmonic. And if I compare the three types of harmonics, just here at the 12th fret of the G string, there's the natural harmonic. Then if I play the pinched harmonic, you can hear it again, it's got that pure sound, but it's slightly more percussive. Then the tapped harmonic, okay, you can hear real percussive chime to the note. Okay. Tap harmonics are also similar to pinched harmonics in that we can add vibrato to them, slide them and bend them. So if I take that C there, we can bend it, slide it, or add vibrato. So with this uh, simple uh, first octave, you know, the, the octave harmonic there, we can try a few simple things just as we did with the uh, pinched harmonics. So we could try playing a basic C major scale. So if we were going to play a C major scale down here, starting at the third fret of the A string, we can then tap out the harmonics from that, uh, from that scale an octave higher up here. So if you imagine a, a C major scale up here, so that's where we'll be tapping the notes. So remember these are all going to be over the, uh, over, over the fret, not between the frets. So I've got the C major down there, there's the C, there's the D, E, F, G, A, B, C. As well as a basic major scale like that, you can try uh, pretty much playing anything, uh, any kind of lines, riffs that you want to play, and they'll all have that kind of uh, odd percussive sound to them when you, when you play them in this way. So if we take a, uh, a C blues scale, okay, try lines around it. You can also outline chords and this is a really uh, popular use for tapped harmonics and Van Halen did this a lot. Um, so if we take a D power chord down here, so D, A, D, so 5th fret A string, 7th fret D string, 7th fret G string, we just hold that shape there and I'm using the 1st finger for the D and then just the 4th finger bar in there across the 7th fret, we can tap them out one octave higher. So if you look for those notes but up here. Okay, so we get a nice, a nice chime there. 
that uh, of that chord. And then if we move it down, I can move it down to a B flat, C, and then just outline them. You can try this with any chord type, so just mess around with chord progressions and just try and be creative. As with any other harmonics, we don't have to just stick to those octaves there. We can uh, actually get harmonic nodes all up and down the string. So um, if we take, let's say, a B flat there, we don't have to stick to that octave there. We can move further down the string, and as you bang away down there, you know, tap in these harmonics, you'll start to hear them. Uh, hear them. Okay, and also try them on different strings. Okay, so they're all there up and down the string. You can get them further back here as well. And as always, a lot of distortion and compression and boosting the mids will help uh, to get those to ring out. Okay, so that's harmonics for now. Just try experimenting with them and listen to Jacob Pistorius, Billy Sheehan, Victor Wooten and Michael Manring to hear how they all apply them in different ways. Uh, so please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also leave a comment if you've enjoyed the lesson and uh, have any questions. Check out TalkingBass.net for more lessons, articles and downloads. And subscribe to Talking Bass to receive the free scale reference guide full of loads of cool scales that you can practice. Okay, see you later.